And how you doing? This is uh, Coach Big Pete of uh, Deep Dish Football, and uh, we're going to preview a conference. I decided to make it a little more easier. I'm not going to do that many predictions of the teams, who's going to go first, who's going to go last. Just do a quick version of the team, uh, the conference, the player, and everything else. So I'm going to start first. This is, this is going to be the first conference preview because I already did two already. This is the Western Big Six. Again, I'm sorry. I apologize if any team has changed conference. I apologize. But I'm just going to go through the uh, these teams of the Western Big Six. A little sh small preview, very small, but just to go over some stuff and what's going on. So, uh, the first, th and my notes are on the computer. I'm sorry if I'm just clicking, click, 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 click. So, the first team, uh, and they, cl uh, they clinched the conference, was uh, Quincy and uh, Quincy uh, went eight and two, um, eight and two including including with the playoffs in it, and uh, basically, <clears throat> basically, and sorry again, notes, uh, their star players back uh, Jarrell Brock, who's going to be a junior this season. They also have Daniel Frost. They have uh, Daniel Frost and uh, Logan Ross is another player to look out for. Now, the whole thing with Quincy is is that. Uh, they lost uh, Caleb Pines, who just graduated, and uh, Darren Smith, who just graduated, and Zach uh, Oskerman, who just graduated too. Now, I predict them to have a great season again, and it's this is a this is one of the weird conferences where a lot of seniors have graduated, but I see I see Quincy challenging for the top spot of the of the Western Big Six. So, uh, following that, let's go to the second the second team the second team. Uh, second team preview is Rock Island. Now Rock Island, <clears throat> Rock Island went nine three, including the, with the playoffs, uh, playoff wins and playoff losses. And with that thing with Rock Island, uh, they've got a pretty good mix of talent still left on the team that uh, that hasn't graduated yet. They have T Tavion Brooks, uh, Kobe Rios, who's a big, massive man, who I believe could be one of the best offensive tackles in the state for next year, and they have a sharp fender who's one of my top guys that people should pay attention to, one of my pass rushing guys, edge rusher, who guys, who a lot of people do not understand, he had a great season last season, a lot, he made, he made for a lot of sacks, but Rock Island graduated Elk, Elk Jacobs, a quarterback, and, again, sorry, Jacob Ellis, a tight end, so, but I have Rock Island again. They will be challenging again for uh, the Western, uh, the Western Big Six uh, conference against uh, against Quincy. Now, Rock Island actually for their talent level that's still returning is quite impressive. Just as Quincy is too. They Quincy did graduate, but they still have a great level of talent still returning. So next, we are going to look at uh, Galesburg. Galesburg, sorry again, notes. So Galesburg, we have uh, for seniors, we have uh, Jacob Carl, who's back, who's a little good tight end. Uh, I have a lot of a lot of uh, people that are really interested in him, a lot of coaches that really like him. And also Kobe Ramirez at running back, who I think is a pretty good little, is a little good running back, especially coming out of that conference. Now, the main thing is, is that Jason Kelly has graduated for uh, Jake, Jason Kelly has gra uh, graduated from uh, Galesburg, and Caleb Clay has gal uh, graduated from Galesburg. So, I have Galesburg. This might be a little bit shocking, but I have Galesburg also challenging for the top spot. So, it's gonna be it's gonna be quite interesting between Galesburg, Rock Island, and Quincy. I think Quincy gets a little bit of the edge. But Rock Island, though, with the senior the seniority, is is going to be a very very interesting team in the Western Big Six. So next uh, next team, Rock Island Elman, uh, who who finished uh, two and three. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, two and seven in the season. Again, I'm sorry about this. New laptop. I'm trying to find out what's going on. Elman High School, there we go. Okay, so, so for Elman High School, they have quarterback Sam Metashek, who's uh 
six uh six oh uh, six zero quarterback court hybrid basically pretty interesting um they also have running back Nate uh, Nate Sheets they also uh, graduated uh they graduated uh, Liam McConnell uh, McConnell and I'm trying to find out his other name on my notes uh they graduated Brian Morrissey too now Elman High School has a very interesting history in this conference but they could they have a lot of players returning and could be a little bit of an interest it could be a little bit of an interesting factor so next one we have Moline High School and Moline High School sorry again notes bad notes I should just put them on paper this is my fault Moline High School they have 